I'm Melanie Dreyer. Uh, I'm uh, Dean of Nursing at Rush University Medical Center. I'm a nurse and I'm an anthropologist. I think the um, medicinal properties of cannabis are just beginning to be explored systematically, but cannabis has existed as medicine for centuries. And uh, my first exposure to cannabis as medicine was working in Jamaica, and uh, where it's known as the king of herbs. One of the consistent ingredients in most of the preparations that they gave to their patients uh, was cannabis. And uh, subsequent to that, uh, my major professor at Columbia University was funded to do, by National Institute on Drug Abuse, was funded to do a follow-up, not a follow-up, a regular study of uh, cannabis in Jamaica, marijuana in Jamaica, mainly in response to all the research that was going on looking at the immediate effects of marijuana. This is in the late 60s, early 70s and people were concerned about the acute effects. What happens when you smoke? Does it affect your driving or your thinking or your coordination or whatever? And no one had really looked at what happens to people when they smoke consistently every day for a long period of time. What is the health impact of that? So he was funded to do that. I was a graduate student and he said, you had such a great summer in Jamaica last year working on this other project. Would you come and be the main uh, ethnographer uh, for this part of the project? I've, I've been involved in several projects. That project, which was perhaps the most famous project coming out of Jamaica, uh, is a uh, study of uh, working class men in Jamaica. Um, 30 of whom were chronic users, that means smoked at least one or two spliffs every day, usually more than that, uh, for the past 10 years. And they were matched with men uh, from the same socioeconomic status and uh, same age, and uh, who didn't smoke at all. And then we compared them to every possible medical variable there is. Um, I was not so much involved in the, um, the medical side of it. I was really looking at how do these men compare socially in their communities? Who are they? Uh, what is the sort of social milieu or context around ganja use and ganja smoking? Um, and then comparing these uh, groups of men, the users and the non-users, in their fit uh, with their communities. So one of the things we found in the study, for example, was that ganja users performed significantly better than non-users on the psychiatric and psychological battery of tests. 